All right, guys, let's watch a clip from this movie and then come back and talk about it after. Is he coming? I feel tell you yes, so on my life. Look, that boy will do the same thing he did yesterday. <laughs> so my advice for me mm. to you is to go home. Um, madam, going home is out of the picture. Please, see this job. Mm. It's very important to me. Okay. Maybe I should go and talk to him myself. Ah, yes, so I've stopped to him myself because he has to learn. <laughs> I know it is very important to you. But the thing here is that the person you want to teach does not want to be taught. He will learn. He has to, madam. Okay. Yes. So what is your plan? Democracy is a government for the people and by the people. Do you understand? Seriously? Ah, yeah, what is yeah. all this? What's ah. wrong with you? Why are you so insensitive and arrogant? Do you think the world revolves around you? I understand. People like you are born with a silver spoon. But you see, people like me, we came to this world with nothing. If we want a spoon, we either create it or work for it. I just want to let you know that the work you started, it's been yielding fruits and things have been so, so great with my son. My son, for the first time, he's interested in learning. He's studying by himself. It's incredible I've ever seen like that. All thanks to you. It's about your score. What about yes. your score? What happened? I scored. I scored 285. What? That's, a, that's amazing! <laughs> wow! We're going to talk about teachers today. And really, it's because I don't feel like teachers get the recognition that they deserve. When I was in school, I came across a lot of teachers that really, really, in all honesty, helped my life. You know, they are the ones that took time out to teach you things over again, you know, correct you when you're wrong. You know, and these teachers brought out their time, you know, their whole heart to teach students to be better. Now, when you're in school, there's all calibers of students. There's the ones that are serious. There's the ones that seriously want to be serious, but they are not serious. There's the ones that really don't even care at all. And then, you know, of course, there's the ones that we are forced to go to school. So, you know, you can see that in anything they do, they don't care about anything. They are always late and they are always absent. But it never mattered. The teachers put out the time that they needed to. They taught the classes the way they needed to. And their whole goal was to get everybody to pass. Either pass the junior YEC or pass the senior YEC. Then we graduate. Five years later, ten years later, you come back to the school, the teacher is still there. Still driving the same old Mercedes Benz, maybe flat boots that they were driving when you were there. Still wearing the same shoes, the same outfit, and still probably being owed eight months or nine months salary. These people put a lot of work into getting ready for the classes. So their effort doesn't actually start when they get to school. Unlike some professions where you just go to work and your work starts when you get to work. For teachers, the work starts when they are still at home. They are doing all this research on what they will teach. They are looking for best ways to teach it. They are putting presentations together they are putting classes together you know and then they come to school they teach after they teach over and over repeatedly on this same process then they give the examinations or the tests and they have to take all this stuff back mark it come back to school and probably go over with students on why they failed what they failed i used to have this lecturer he went above and beyond and I'm going to call his name. I, I think he's late now. God bless his soul. Brother Henry. That's in CIC. CIC Enugu. This man was dedicated. He was dedicated to making every student get the point. A lot of students were not interested. But him, he didn't care. He put in the time. So when I later graduated and then, you know, I came back and, you know, this is like 10 years later. And the man is still doing the same thing, wearing the same clothes. Of course, he's older now, but he was still putting in the same effort. 
I felt like the world owed that man a lot of gratitude. And this is the same with teachers all over, all over all the schools, starting from the primary school, the nursery, the primary, the, the secondary, and then the universities. I want to make an open appeal to the government. I don't think teachers are the right people to be owed. Now, I know a lot of professions are going to say, yes, are they the ones to be owed? To be honest, nobody deserves to be owed. Nobody deserves to be owed. But the truth is that these teachers are the ones that determine what the next generation will be. I get the doctors save lives. The nurses assist. Um, you know, there's all these professions here and there that make life easy or livable. You know, some behind closed doors. But these teachers, they are the ones that guarantee that the next generation is gonna come out smart and if they're not taken care of who will if you can see in the movie that we watched it was a dedicated teacher that changed the course of things for the young man if it wasn't for that teacher's perseverance that kid would have been lost and gone with time because you know when people are bad and people are not focused in life and you ignore them <laughs> now so they go they go down and down and down until they turn into something that the parents would not even recognize anymore so please the government should take care of our teachers pay them at, as a when do give them the recognition that they need so they can continue delivering brighter students for our upcoming young generation if you like content like this please subscribe hit the like button follow share like i always love to say Life is like a movie. That's why we use movies to discuss life. My name is CJ and I'm here to deliver sense. One Hollywood movie at a time. So thank you guys for watching and see you on the next slide.